What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another New York Giants video. And in this video, I'm going to discuss a new addition to the team this evening, the signing of Jamil Douglas. They agreed to terms on a one-year deal pending a physical. Jamil Douglas is a veteran offensive lineman who's been a journeyman across the NFL throughout his first seven seasons. But before I dive into him and a couple of team updates, folks, we we'll want to remind you all, Make sure to follow us on all of our social media accounts if you like our content on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Big Blue Avenue. Appreciate all the support from everybody as always. Hope you're all enjoying your fabulous weekend of March Madness. I know there's a lot going on right now uh, within the midst of all this free agency stuff, but a little bit of background on Jamil Douglas. Uh, so it is a one-year deal pending the physical, 30 years old, entering his eighth season out of Arizona State. He spent majority of last season with the Buffalo Bills where he was under Joe Shane, Brian Dable's offense, and new New York Giants offensive line coach Bobby Johnson, who was with Buffalo as well. He played college ball at Arizona State, as I mentioned. And again, majority of the season was on Buffalo's practice squad. He was promoted in November and then waived in December, where he was picked up by the Washington football team. And I think this signing took into effect because – it just provides more depth. You know, you're looking for depth pieces. He plays primarily the guard position, can also slide in at center. This is nothing more than a depth signing for competition. This guy's not a starter. He has potential to be a quality backup, but he's going to have to compete for a roster spot. This is by no means a utility offensive lineman signing. This is not, for example, um, a Billy Price or Ben Bredesen from last year. This is a little bit lower tier signing than that. Um, also, with Nick Gates having a setback in his rehab from the seven surgeries he had, I think the Giants are looking to do what they can now with this offensive line because you never know what's going to happen during the draft. Um, now, on Douglas, he hasn't started a game since 2019. He does have starting experience. And a little fun fact about him, Jamil Douglas played in the 2015 East-West Shrine Bowl with newly signed New York Giants Mark Lewinsky and John Feliciano. So the Giants have now signed three offensive linemen from the 2015 draft class. Douglas is about 6'4", 310 pounds, fourth round pick by the Dolphins back in 2015, played in 50 regular season games throughout his career so far with 11 starts for Miami, Tennessee, Buffalo, and Washington. He also appeared in four postseason games with the Titans from 2018 to 2020, and he was also a practice squad member for the Patriots and the Colts throughout his career. Out of his 11 starts that he's made, three of them have been at the center position. Eight of them have been at right guard, and six of his 11 career starts came as a rookie back in 2015 where he played 50% of the offensive snaps for the Miami Dolphins. I mentioned his connection with Bobby Johnson. You know, having that is always a good thing. And again, we knew a couple of players were going to come over from Buffalo, and this just adds to it. Antonio Williams, Davis Webb, Austin Prohl, and now, of course, Jamil Douglas. And it was interesting because, you know, this guy was once viewed a starting caliber player. I don't think he is anymore. But with the injuries we had at the position last year, it doesn't look like the Giants are going to go – and re-sign a Billy Price or a Ben Bredesen. I mean, they still could, but I doubt it. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens with the offensive line in this draft. What does this mean? Do they still go offensive line in the first round? Do they wait until day two? Who knows, right? We have to see what happens as we get closer to the draft. But first, we would love to recognize our sponsor. That is BetUS, serving betting customers now for 25-plus years. That is that is America's favorite sports book, and you can sign up with our promo code below, join125, where you get a 125% bonus up to $2,500, where you can bet on your mobile device, on the go, anywhere, anytime. That's BetUS, where the game begins. So enjoy that live betting, pre-betting, put in some parlays as well. Um, that is BetUS. They are awesome. So want to get into a couple of other things. Giants wide receiver Kenny Galladay has now had his 2023 roster bonus worth $4.5 million guaranteed on Friday. And an update on Logan Ryan. He signed with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It did not take him long at all to find a new home. Tampa Bay immediately scoops him up 
and Logan Ryan, a former New England Patriot, former teammate of Tom Brady. I wonder if that had some effect there, um, you know, but what we didn't account for in yesterday's video on Logan Ryan is that the New York Giants will actually save close to $3 million in 2023 on his deal. Now, they don't save much this year. They only save 775000 Stinks. But Giants are obviously looking towards the future. They save $2.9 million in the year 2023. So, folks, Logan Ryan is now a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. Kenny Galladay looks like he's going to be here for a while. And Jamil Douglas is the newest New York Giant. Folks, if you like what you watch, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel below, Big Blue Avenue. Like this video. Ring the bell for notifications. And, of course, follow us on Twitter and Instagram as well for up-to-date updates. Sometimes we don't get these videos up right away. So if you want the up-to-speed, right-on-time updates, make sure to go follow us there on Instagram and Twitter. And without further ado, let's go Big Blue.